And yes, where you have a child who is in a passive state in the school and yet is either very overactive or much more assertive and dominant in the home and possibly showing challenging behaviours in the home, it can be hard to get the school and other professionals to appreciate the differences in this child across the two settings. I think parents need to ask or invite professionals to come into their home and to see the child, how they are, how the child is in their home. It is very, very typical that some children will be able to contain their behaviour and appear very passive, uh, very compliant and very accepting and willing to go along with uh, behaviour that is expected in the school only then when they are at home to go into what is classically known as a sort of meltdown situation where their behaviour falls apart, is very extreme and very challenging. Parents will need to get professionals to appreciate that this is extremely um, usual and very normal for a large number of children with autism to contain their behaviour in situations in school, particularly where they don't feel safe about expressing their feelings in a school situation and when they get home back to a situation where they feel secure and comfortable and trust the people that they're with they can in a sense let their hair down and be themselves.